You're watching Alaska's News Source. He's an artist based in Ketchikan and brings a unique perspective to painting. Ray Troll combines his love of art and science and adds a little humor in the process. Arian Arambiro has this week's Telling Alaska Story. You know, if you're making sound effects when you're doing a drawing like that, rawr, then you know you're in the zone. Ray Troll beats to the sound of his own drum. I have a real sense of humor and I do things I'd never follow directions well. Or in this case, his own paintbrush. Someone once described my artwork as being scientific surrealism. So what exactly does that mean? It's colorful, it's uh, slightly goofy, but every now and then I wear these different hats. More sciency, more, more, uh, you know, more just pure art. Uh, you have to explain everything with science and with art. You don't have to explain anything. Which is why Troll's artwork speaks for itself. As my it, my career moved on, I began to be more inspired by science. As I said, my first love in in life was paleontology. You know, drawing dinosaurs. Something he's been doing since four years old. Now a childhood dream come true. Trolls collaborated with scientists over the years and been there for some pretty amazing discoveries. But I got to go digging dinosaurs in the Colville and that was um, that was really just so exciting for me. And I actually found a tyrannosaur tooth. Trolls adventures with paleontologist Kirk Johnson started out in a book, which has now turned into a traveling exhibit called Cruise in the Fossil Coastline. The two logged more than 10,000 miles over a span of 250 days traveling the North American coast. The exhibit has been on the road for six years and it's now uh, a seventh stop here in Ketchikan. And we really, with this one, it's only the fossils from Alaska and the artwork that's inspired by things in Alaska. Hey, fish face, I know who you are. Hey, Be it through music, face. humor, film, or actual artifacts, Troll wants his artwork to capture people's attention. There's nothing like the actual rock there, too, and to present that to somebody and just Give them an interesting fact. Do you know that that rock is 215 million years old? And when he's not creating dinosaur drawings, there ain't no you can catch there his other no creative side as a member of the Ratfish Wranglers. And you're all going to get a piece of paper. Proving you're never too old. Until they pry the Crayolas out of my fingers, I'm going to keep drawing. To pursue your passion. For Telling Alaska's Story, Ariane Arambiro, Alaska's News Source.